guys today i'm gonna say the science behind the boomerang bowling now let us get into the video let us get into the video before that the boomerang will be always in the ball dipping time what is ball dipping time ball dipping time is a time when the ball is go and hit on the ground and see other bowlers will be usually putting in the high pitch and it goes but boomerang is a lower pitch and it goes so this bowler the, the batsman doesn't get a too quick attack so if he gets a quick attack it will he will be dangerous then the second thing the second thing is called the boundary region what is boundary region boundary region is a region when the ball is flowing forward it creates some air resistance to so this is called the um, boundary region so the, this is the second secret of it then there are two types one type is the turbulence um, a turbulence line, line boundary region what this this region room means there will be some crooked shapes uh, the crooked shapes is called the turbulence uh, boundary system then the boomerang will be always putting the laminar boundary region and the bowler other bowlers will be the laminar boundary region so what here causes means called the magnus effect magnus effect is a newton's third law among newton's third law as we put in the two boundary layer it creates a short thing the short boundary region and this gives more pressure and low pressure what will do means automatically it will be changing to high pitch because there are many high pressure in this so this is the magnus effect now third thing is he will be putting faster than 145 km per hour and he will reach the 1000 rpm what 1000 rpm yes how fast he is so this is why he can't get the goal now this is what the basic things and the boomerang will be an opposite to it he will be taking the two boundary regions as very same and what does he do means one layer as a turbulent boundary layer and the second thing is the laminar boundary layer you know that doesn't causes the magnus force because two should be my laminar region so which causes the um, magnus effect but this doesn't cause and the second thing if you notice the ball will be spinning anti-clockwise and this is the magnus effect but the boomerang cannot go fast so the ball dipping time will also the time will also increase and the speed of the pitch also increase so this is the secret behind the boomerang spawning now thank you guys today we have seen the science behind the boomerang spawning and what is magnus effect and what is the turbulence waving system then watch which direction does the ball move then the ball dipping time now thank you guys